So I'm gonna move my uh, armies depending on their armies and how their army moves around. There you go. So two engineers coming right up. And then we've got our army ready to go. But unfortunately we're too loaded so we're gonna have to get rid of uh, one, two, two infantry platoons. So let's move them down here to assist with the war effort. So yay! So yeah, the battles doing the battles are going well. I'm gonna reinforce the gonna try to attack these guys here. So yeah, we're still losing technically, but with my reinforcements, uh, I don't think that there will be freaking communists. Okay, so our army are gonna have to do a lot of things. So you go over here. You go clear this area. You're gonna run straight down. Save factory districts. That's priority number one. Gonna have to invest into naval tech soon. So we do have a battle going on here where we're winning. Our troops have more experience get a better general he's get attacked but he doesn't have defense I have attack and defense I'm sure he I'm sure this guy is my best friend for for life right now because he has to be because I'm kind of subsidizing his war effort of course the church must be renovated There's a lot of uh, fighting going on in the homeland because of all the rebellions going on. Build an army. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, there you go, that's gonna be an army. Just gotta organize them. So this battle's still going on, they still outnumber me. At least my troops are getting a lot of experience fighting this. So once they've retreated out, yeah, we're gonna engage that army. My army's gonna fall back a bit and take a nice little break. And, uh, one of my reinforcements coming. They're almost there. They're taking their sweet time. So we do have a big army here ready to go in case war breaks out here. So yeah, they're gonna take back this province. Raise the tariffs, of course. They're not using a lot of naval warfare to try to block all the ports or anything. That's one thing that would have been amazing in the game is if they would have been using a lot of naval doctrines to try to like cut off or starve an enemy down. And we also need a naval base here. Naval bases are key. And even the Melier Empire. Uh oh. Khanate's at war with uh, these guys here. So that's why I'm trying to get them under my thing, under my wing. So here comes one of my most elite regiments, most elite divisions, into the fray. 
to get experience, glory, combat, you know, everything in between. You'll notice. And of course, this regiment is from Rotos. So there's 85,000 troops. And can support 29 brigades. Currently has 19 brigades. So there, we have a lot of buffer. So in case we lose a lot of guys, it doesn't matter. Religion is not a private matter. There's 26,000 troops over there. It can be easily engaged and destroyed. Here there's 31,000 troops. Could be easily engaged and destroyed as well. Why should I give you white peace? Alright, so we're gonna lose that battle. That strict discipline. You're gonna go help him out. You have a hundred million stupid decisions to do. That sounds expensive. No, weapon upgrades are good. Electricity. So we do have cannons in the background engaging your 58,000 troops. They still outnumber us by quite a bit. But we could inflict a big dent, especially if our ally comes assist us here. Then uh, we could uh, get the battle winning. But unfortunately, I think the battle's lost. Open mind. Gonna lose this battle. Socialism is in my nation's huge right now. Conservative reactionary party. Alright, so I might actually have to peace out of the war to save my elite regiments. Alright, so you you guys go to these ports, relax, regenerate, and have a transport on the way to pick you up. So there you go. So you guys could go over here. Helped you out in the war, so. Oh, these guys are communists now. Socialists. Legitimist. Young Turk Party. Nationalist faction. Nationalist. little bit of occupations here and there but besides that everything's going fine I send them all to this nice big province over here in what used to be the Austro-Hungarian uh, Empire which is basically the private property of the Habsburg family it's nothing more than the private property of the Habsburg family that's what most people used to say about the Austro-Hungarian Empire Hmm. Sixty seven military power, sixty and sixty eight. How does this nation have sixty eight military power? They start very weak, I don't understand. They start extremely weak. More than just extremely weak, they start like pitiful weak. Alright, so... Now, we're gonna have to think about two things. Oh, again, by that empire. So, 
So yeah, my navy's gonna have to start running. Picking these guys up and bring them back home. Slav. Alright. Well, the fortress is not built yet. Alright. Send all the armies up to fight uh, Livertown enemies. Uh, we're also with Lazarov. Uh, we're at war with this little empire here. And we're at war with these guys. Which is my ally is going to get pounded. Because they don't have that military power. Uh, unless they start mobilizing fast. My military is 119 score, so let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, we're getting engaged in many areas. Alright. You guys could go and engage these guys. And then go help him. Alright, so he's mobilized, but honestly, I don't think so that me mobilizing is going to help anything. Just going to have to go help <coughs> my armies out as uh, events come along. So I'm going to have to get... Hey, how did I lose that? How did I lose that? I had like a combined arm force and everything. Uh, they must have way better equipment than I do. They have a badass general. For defense, minus 6% morale, yeah. So they're very, very break and run type. Yeah, they must have, like, the best military equipment imaginable. Yeah, alright, so that army got totally destroyed. It just doesn't exist anymore, it just got destroyed. That army's getting destroyed. Yeah, I lost so many divisions already. Freaking just start running away. I lost like uh, a dozen divisions already, so that's not good at all. So let's go over here, let's get inside this vehicle transport. Let's try to get our entire military strength back up into Europe, so that we will be able to fight this. as a more or less unified nation. But no, we're losing battle after battle after battle. <sighs> Nationalism and imperialism was completed. Now we need to get the guard up. We need to get uh, everything up. So let's get guard units and infantry. Can I colonize this shit yet? No. No, 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 I know. Alright. Yeah, this army is so totally surrounded. I just lost like most of my armies. I I don't get it. How come? Hmm. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. I don't know what to do. Freaking noob, I don't know what to do.
It's gonna have to go save this guy's motherland. And they're gonna be wasting a lot of uh, resources like in the occupation. Can you run away? Come on, don't tell me you cannot run away. Just run away, or try to run away, I don't know. Do something. Because I just lost most of my military. To this. Most of my army is totally gone. I have uh, my allies, which are fighting, but... I don't know how long they're gonna last. They've been losing pretty badly. I have the 5th National Focus, but I can't colonize anything. So the only thing I can do is soldiers in, in as many places as possible. And I'm gonna have to recruit as uh, many soldiers as I can from certain regions. All right, Let's see where that brings us. I don't get it, how come I have a higher military score than anybody else? I'm getting my ass handed to me. I'm trying to get my navy back with some reinforcements. And if I mobilize, I'm only going to get 30 more brigades. But as the war has been going bad enough already, might as well mobilize. The fresh armies, and we're gonna have to win at least one battle. Damn it, how is that possible? I got bitten on by a mosquito on the bottom of my foot. That's why it was so itchy. I lost that battle too. Buff. Proceed. Let them acquire that fucking province. Screw it. They acquired this region here, eh? Okay. Okay. I can live with that. Okay. Okay, uh, I need a break. <laughs> I need a break. Sorry guys, so uh, I'll upload these videos and I'll see what happens later. See you guys later.